this is about angled brackets in ShapeMaster software. Firstly, this is um, ShapeMaster. You go to set up the uh, Z brackets. You can specify, you can price them, you can report on them. Um, you can show the, the bracket or a shape, show a picture in the report. You can have five different types of brackets. I know there's only a handful, but you can change them all here. Um, so you can do like a angled one or a corner, like a standard Z bracket, or you can go to a corner, things like that. You got different codes you can call them. So this is just set up for, um, and you can specify different offsets. So you might have a zero offset on this one and 10 mil on on the next one, things like that. So for this guys example, I'm just going to put a five mil offset on that. Um, you can also specify text, color on the parts. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show the length, but I'm going to show the 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 code on on a part. So so once this is set up, there's not a lot to set up in here. And you can configure this yourself to to suit how you want it to be set up. Then you can just grab a say a standard block in this case. Again, you do this set it up in your library so it stays permanently because you don't want to do this every time. Um, so we're now in the screen section here. We go to Z brackets down here. And all I'm going to do is turn it on that one there, that one there, that one there. So it's now on those ones there. You can change them to whatever, whichever one you want it to be. Um, and you can change offsets. But for this case, we're just going to leave. Well, actually, we'll put that one onto there. What? We'll put that to there. Uh, you then go to the next area. Same thing again. Again, you can set them up any way you like. If you know it's going to go against the corner, you might want to put in one of these. And when it goes against a straight line, it has a different finish. Um, different offsets, so you can do things like that as well. You need to turn them on or they won't display. Area 3, and again, on, on, on. Which one do you want? So you might have an L here and an L here because they're half, okay, straight end corner. So you can do things like that. And again, save this into your library catalog manager up here, um, so you don't have to do it every time. But once you've done it, it'll come up with these. You can turn these things off and on. You can have it display the dimension of each one, which I think is a little bit busy personally, but it depends if you want to see it or not. F12, so you add it to your list. So it's now in here. That was the first one I did. I'll get rid of that. Oops. So this is the one we've got now with all those angles on it. So if we go Control R, run a report, we call it the Z brackets report. This will now show us the picture of the part we're looking at. It gives us all of the brackets. So there's all the L's, all the A's, all the Z's, all the dimensions of each one, total size of each one. Um, each one shows you a picture of what it looks like. And you can do that on each part, put in your job name, um, job number, reference number, all those sorts of things, so you know how much um, brackets you need. Um, and you can actually put in more details, less details. There's quite a lot you can do with reports. So you can turn the details off. And we run the same report again. So now it just literally gives you 2 at 3.30. Um, makes it a little bit cleaner. So you can do these. And again, you can name them all, use whatever letters you like. It's all adjustable. Thanks very much.